Risa Tisa, who created the series on TikTok, Who the F Did I Marry, just got signed by a huge agency, CAA. Now, this is the same agency that signed Tabitha Brown, who's our favorite vegan auntie on the internet. What does it mean when huge agencies like CAA start signing influencers? Now, this isn't about influencers stepping into the limelight. This is about blending the digital with the traditional. Creative Artist Agency is known for representing top talent when it comes to film, television, and music. And them showing interest in digital creators is proving the importance of an online presence. They know something that the acting industry doesn't want to admit. The lines between celebrity, actor, and influencer are continuing to blur. Most actors come into the industry thinking, all I have to do is land a big commercial, it'll get a national reach, and I'll have enough money to bide my time while I'm waiting for my big television or film roles. Well, with the rise of digital media, those national commercials don't look the same, nor do the day rate or the residuals either. The attention and budget from commercials are now being split between social media and media contracts, and it's not being split equally. Social media platforms are now hot spots for branded content that normally would have been split between advertisement shoots and commercials. With the fall of celebrity culture and the rise in everyday influencers, brands are more and more leaning on content creators for promo. And yet actors are so hesitant when it comes to the shift in the industry. But why? Well, there's a level of education that actors are expected to have. Some of us have BFAs. Some of us have spent years and years studying the craft. We're influencers. It's all hands-on learning because the internet is still kind of the wild, wild west. And honestly, there's a sense of pride that actors have that has no place in the world of influencing. As an actor, it's about getting out of the way of the work and letting the work speak for itself and not putting yourself first in everything that you do. And while all of this is true, if actors don't step up now and start taking over some of this space when it comes to influencers, we will be left out. Content creation puts so much control back into the hands of the creator that actors are just not used to. I just recently did a commercial with ESPN and the amount of control that I had over what I was saying and what I was doing was very little. It doesn't really feel like a creative collaboration in those instances. Usually it just feels like show up, smile here, say this thing, here's your check. Now I could have made the same amount of money from a brand partnership online as a content creator and felt more creative control. Social media does this beautiful thing where they give people an opportunity to monetize their creative work and their ideas. It creates a space where actors are not waiting for the yes anymore. It also helps us build an audience that will be there for us when we get those bigger projects. So we can't be mad at Arisa Tisa. She had the entire world captivated and her storytelling skills cannot be denied. CAA signing these influencers signals to the industry that content creation is legitimate and influential. As actors, we have to decide if we're ready to move forward with the industry or we want to keep doing things as we've been doing it before, but that might not be working as well anymore. Money flows where attention goes, and the AMPTP is changing the way that money is made in this industry, and they have no interest in slowing down. Attention is going to social media. Attention is going to digital streaming. Look, it's never been how can we take the art away from acting, but more so how can we look at social media and brand deals the way we look at commercials as a way to supplement the bigger careers of actors. And who knows where it's gonna go, but if we stop and dig our feet into the ground now, we're going to have a hard time moving forward. As we look towards the horizon of the entertainment industry, it's clear that this is not a trend, it's a shift in how content is created, consumed, and valued. The lines between the traditional influencer, celebrity, and actor are blurring. It's creating new opportunities, and we have to see it as that. In the next five to 10 years, we can expect to see even more integration into digital platforms. We can expect to see bigger names coming out of these spaces. Streaming and social media platforms being the new space for launching careers and finding new talent. So, actors staying ahead of the curve doesn't mean just studying in the traditional way, but it means really getting comfortable with the whole idea of digital content creation. It means understanding the basics of video production past your self-tapes. Just stay committed to being lifelong learners and follow the industry wherever it goes. Actors constantly sign up for the unknown, and this is a part of that.